Um, hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a little slightly different makeup tutorial um, to honour one of my favourite animals, um, Crustacea, um, which is the lobster and its important role in art. So um, I think what I'm going to do is start with a basic face covering. I'm going for a more co cooked lobster look because I'm going back to the very beginning of the lobster in art and sort of the Vanitas pictures. So I'm going to just open this red paint. Now I've chosen um, an aqua red in quinacridone red. I find this has the best sort of lobster hue. We're not going for the ugly blue of fresh from the water. We're going to be boiled in a pot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply this directly to the face so I'm going to nude it. Because um, with claws it can get a bit tricky um, doing things really accurately. So, and then I'm just going to take this brush <laughs> that I got from B&Q and then we'll just pop it in between the claw and we're just going to paint this on to go sort of even lobstery sheen to the whole face. Now, the lobster has been long regarded as one of the signifiers of wealth. So if you'll see in the Vanitas paintings, a lot of nice lobsters along with other rich things of the time like rare potatoes and vaginal um, oysters and the such and throughout our history art history not art history I think there we've got a bit of coverage um, the lobster has been very important and it can be traced right through to the Dali telephone or we can go um, to John Waters um, multiple maniacs where we have Divine being raped by Lobstora, which is one of my favourite art references. Now, um, because um, I'm using mainly hues of red, the next thing I'm going to use is this Liquitex Heavy Body, which is great for getting that sort of shell-like crustacea look, in Van Dyke Red. Now, I'm not 100% sure if Van Dyke painted a lobster, but I reckon probably somewhere in an attic in Sussex there's a Van Dyke lobster. And I'm using this colour, getting this... <laughs> Um, so I'm going to apply this with a little brush. Now this is again from B&Q. And this is a very brown one, so use sparingly. And I'm going to draw on sort of lobstery eyebrows. So they go about there. And a lobster, you know, as we know from The Little Mermaid, can often be very camp and French. So a nice little flick to the eyebrow is great. And what you also want to add is nice big flared nostrils, especially if you've been in the cooking pot. There we go. And I think I'll just add a bit of round the edge so we've got some gills. You know, as they have the crustacean, they have these sort of segmentation -y parts. I guess they're not really gills, actually. So I'm just going to draw them in. Um, there we go. Now, the next thing is, like, I think it's possibly to reference the Dali element is that, as we know, um, the famous lobster telephone, um, but Dali also did the Mae West lips sofa, so I'm going to use this Yves Saint Laurent, also used by Mae West, to create sort of a sensual, sexual lip, and as in the John Waters reference, where the lobster is a voracious, raping beast, I think we've got it just perfect. And I have seen some Japanese porn involving a lobster before, so I know they're quite virile. And then we're just going to do a very subtle lip. Now, I hope my claw's not in the way. But if you're an underwater crustacea, applying makeup can be a real chore. So we're just going to do like a nice exaggerated look in this beautiful YSL colour. I mean, it just adds a bit of class. If you're doing the rest of your face in acrylic paint, it's nice to have something that anchors it in the real art of makeup artistry. There we go. Now, because this uh, lobster that I'm doing has been out of the sea for a while, possibly cooked, possibly on the red carpet, because it's about time that somebody did a monograph on the importance of lobster in art. So I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle, but it also adds that sort of shell-like quality. So I've just got here from Poundland, I've got some red sparkle first. Now this is going to be a bit tricky to apply, so I think I might just chuck it at my face, okay? <laughs> oh. Okay, now I've just got a red lobster cock, but there's a bit on my, um, on my shell. I'm just going to apply that liberally. Now, I'm not just going to stop there because I like to have a little hint at where the lobster originates from. I know it's become a glamorous symbol, you know, 
from Schiaparelli to um, what have you have used it but I like to put a little bit of blue glitter on just to reference the fact that it comes from sea. I think I might just poke in the end of the thing and just highlight this isn't working. I'm guessing this is how a lobster would do it, just apply a bit to the end of the claw and just under the eye line it gives a nice little watery eye as in don't cook me, look how cute I am, sort of lobster effect. And so here we go and just to finish it off I've got a few finishing touches. I'm going to add this cap, a jaunty little angle. So that's my telephone, not my uh, Dali lobster phone. I wish I had one of them, I'd be minted. So I just put it on a little jaunty angle to say, oh oui, je suis une comédie French lobster et elle pour le dernier little thingamabob. I'm just going to add a spray of hairspray. This is Tesco's Economy hairspray. Because it gives that sort of, again, crustacea like sheen and lacquer that we've seen on, well, on all the oil paintings. And Close your eyes and mouth. Don't breathe it in. So there we go. Here's how to achieve a perfect rounded lobster look. Sexy?